All right, so now we move to the next topic, which is application security. So application security. So let's talk about uh, a case study, which is uh, happened in China. And um, this is a warm attack against Weibo. Uh, Weibo, uh, or maybe the full name is called Sina Weibo, is called as like the Chinese Twitter, okay? was once hit by a worm that affected over 30,000 users in less than an hour. The attack process was as follow. Okay, so how how this uh, attack happens? So first of all, we look at the uh, the, the process. Um, first of all, the first process is exploit a web page vulnerability. So the attacker creates a user account infected with it's infected it with worm and then send the malicious link to the public section so um so of course if if you want to attack somebody you wouldn't be using your like for example your real twitter account so therefore the attacker first of all what he did was uh, uh sorry it, it might be he or it might be she <laughs> um so the attacker actually created uh another fake account okay and after that, uh, within the fake account, he has a posting which actually link to his own uh, so-called the uh, the Twitter link, which consists of worm, okay? And then he actually, uh, okay, and after that, the attacker send the, this malicious link to the public section, all right? So um, now the, uh, yeah, so Weibo is something like a Twitter where you, you have, you can do a private tweak to somebody or you can actually do a public tweak um, so after that some of the because, because this is a public section so everyone in within the uh, uh, the network within the Weibo they, uh, they are able to click on the link and of course the title will be something which is very attractive uh, at attractive title I don't know what the, I don't know what title was that but you could imagine sometimes we also fell into the trap right we sometimes look at some titles like oh example where is uh, finally the mystery of mh370 uh, um, has been um, discovered or has been uh, has been found solution uh, the, the evidence has found whatever you know people would like to, to click on this um, so user click on the malicious link with Enti enticing titles and got their account affected. So the moment you click on the account and finally this worm will go into your account and guess what the worm uh, will start will automatically post and send out the private messages to their followers. Alright so that means individual once you click on the link and finally you you got affected and then you actually create a, a, a private message to all your friends and then it's like wow check this out you know you're like telling your friends to check out the link and eventually all your friends be because they they trusted you it's come from you privately so then uh, from there the the uh, uh, the uh, effect the infected messages increase exponentially and infecting a large number of user accounts so after that <laughs> uh, they, they could probably potentially take down uh, the website of uh, Weibo okay um, so this is actually a uh, kind of a worm attack, which is still happening, right? Um, next, um, threats brought by vulnerabilities, okay? So vulnerabilities are defects in the implementation of the hardware or could be software, or it could be due to protocol, right? Uh, any communication of protocol, or maybe it could be some of, in terms of some of the system security policy. So they allow attackers to access or damage systems without authorization, okay? Um, yeah, so sometimes it could be due to hardware a problem, or maybe like, for example, Intel chip, uh, in, in the Intel chipset, there's some, pr some, e some issues, some vulnerabilities, uh, software, it could be operating system, or it could be application. Uh, so if the system vulnerabilities are not fixed in the time, the following attacks may occur. So for example, injection, okay? Yeah, somebody might uh, inject certain uh, 
code into your application or maybe into your system, right? Uh, Cross-site uh, scripting. Okay, yeah. So this is a, a kind of scripting that affects the, uh, especially those uh, nowadays. Uh, a lot of uh, websites are, are written uh, in uh, those uh, scripting, and um, you could also use some scripting to uh, attack. Uh, malicious code propagation, we, we, which we mentioned before, uh, they could be uh, worm or viruses or something like that, or maybe a data breach. Okay, a leak of information. Um, right. The next is called phishing. Okay, now this, this phishing is not like you go to the seaside and you know you, you do some phishing on the on the road. No, um, no, phishing is actually something where uh, when the the victim, um, so when the vic okay sorry phishing is a cyber fraud. Um, it is a fraudulent attempt to obtain user private information such as banks or credit card account or password, often for malicious reason, uh, by using a URL or web page uh, contain of an authentic website as disguise or exploiting vulnerabilities of authentic website servers program to insert dangerous HTML code into some web pages of the website okay this is <laughs> phishing okay now sometimes phishing uh, is very misleading because uh, usually uh, um, victims they will not suspect uh, when they enter to a certain website which is sometimes it is not uh, encrypted uh, website or some website it could be uh, the, the name looks disguised like for example Amazon if somebody would create a, a website called Amazons with the S behind then probably um, the uh, victims can easily fell into the trap or maybe the, uh, the, the page of the Amazon it looks identical right it looks exactly the same and then after that there's a login button for user to click on it and then they will start entering the username and the password and this is where the attacker will start collect your information and then after that they'll prompt you with uh, your password is wrong uh, or maybe mistype can you please retype again okay maybe during that time they will redirect you back to the original website that you 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 log in with the uh, Amazon, okay? Uh, so this is a uh, one uh, simple example. Uh, dear customer, due to issue with the payment system, please log in to our XXX website for refund, right? So now typically people wouldn't um, wouldn't suspect anything because when you say refund, then uh, they will again log in with the the phishing website, which uh, which actually is a fake website which this is a website where it captures your your credential yeah or maybe your credit card information your banks and cards information all right malicious codes all right so malicious malicious code is a computer code that is deliberately developed or constructed to cause threats or potential threats to a network or to a system the most common malicious code including viruses Trojan horses, warm, and also the uh, back doors. Uh, malicious code is also known as malware. Okay, it's, it comes from the word malicious malware. So, which includes adware, spyware, malicious code, uh, malicious shareware. Malware refers to the software that is installed and run on users' computers or other devices without explicitly notifying the user or obtaining the user's consent okay so something like when you when you install uh, a so-called legitimate software and suddenly after you finish install they come up with another uh, three more icons or maybe four more icons and uh, some of the icons are uh, some of the uh, the software that that looks very f uh, uh, attractive but they could if, if potentially be a Trojan horse or could be a virus uh, or maybe they could um, they could create a backdoor so that the attacker can uh, easily access to your system here and then to uh, to control your, your machine 
uh, for some other purposes and warm as I mentioned before is to able to spread to another machine another vulnerable machine and and convert them into uh, an attacker all right <coughs> all right so defense measures measurements uh, for application attack um, so first of all um, we should perform a regular vulnerability scanning okay which I think uh, most of the uh, a lot of uh, antivirus software nowadays can perform and also they also tell you to, to patch okay if uh, your operating system is not up to date your your application your known application is not up to date the software will will alert you to patch um, and also constantly look out for suspicious website or link okay now this is actually about awareness okay now user has to be educated to start to uh, to, 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 to learn the pattern for example uh, normally when you go to website uh, amazon.com you know uh, what is the uh, the color of the link at the, at the, at the left hand side corner and um, you should check out the, uh, the the certificate right so who authorized the certificate who generated the certificate uh, are they generated to the to the uh, to the uh, the website like Amazon, yeah, for example, or is it Amazons with the S dot com, you know? And before you perform any transaction, don't use any credit card which doesn't uh, provide uh, re uh, reverse verification. Like for example, some uh, credit cards, they before any transaction they will perform a reverse SMS, um, uh, what do you call it, the uh, verification pin, you know. Um, or maybe some some uh, software they can even use your mobile phone to fingerprint scanner to to verify all right you to, that means to authorize um, okay and also the uh, through professional equipment like firewall uh, web application firewall uh, and also uh, antivirus software at the uh, at the user site 